Hi everyone, we're at the West Australian Hot Rod and Street Machine Spectacular and we're in the Luau for the Lowdown, which is a custom culture mini show within the show. And I'm with Char Travis Corridge, who's uh, a bit of a pinstripe artist and painter and uh, he's put together these two cars. He he's been the painter. They're owned by uh, Aaron and Mitch, mates yep. of yours in the yep. Deadbeats. Yep. Dead yep. And uh, tell us a bit about the process. I mean, it's a, it's a very heavy flake on these, but it's not your regular kind of technique uh, that you use. Yeah, look, that's that's right. We uh, we wanted to go with a 1960s inspired build for both cars, uh, and flake was the choice. So we uh, we tore both cars down completely. Found the biggest flake we could get in the states. Uh, went to town applying it, putting it everywhere. I mean, it literally went everywhere through the house and the whole lot. And uh, yeah, look, it's it's a labour of love. There's the four guys have worked on it from the deadbeats for the last nine weeks straight, and. Uh, this is what this is what we got. So, so yeah, this was a, a going car, but you said a bit of a kind of eighties uh, bogan inspired uh, tea bucket. So you've you've taken it right back to the sixties, and in my opinion, this is pretty much how a tea bucket should look with the skinny tyres and the rake. Yeah, look, that's exactly it. it you know, it was very bogan, you know, uh, flat, no rake in it, uh, horrible interior, convo pros on the rear, and no offence to the original owner. Yeah, look, hey, he might he might even be out here today, uh, and if he is, I'm sure he's kicking himself now, but. You know, it, it, it is a budget build, and it's a build done in the garage, you know, a couple of blokes done at home in the garage on the cheap, and it just goes to show what you, what you can achieve. So tell us how you did the paint, though, because it's not, uh, the, the, the metal flake wasn't actually in the clear, it's been put on dry, and I thought when Travis said dry, he meant as in, you know, pretty dry out of the gun, but no, he meant literally dry. Yeah, dry. <laughs> That's right. So look, we um, prepared the car like anyone else would with primer, and we gave it a silver base coat. Uh, and then we applied a layer of, of clear. Then we, we literally had a uh, flake in a flake gun and we spray that on dry and allow that to, to stick to the clear. Uh, we clear over the top of that and then uh, the hard work begins yeah. knocking the top off that and sanding it flat so and then you, clear again. You started with 40 grit you were mentioning. Yeah, look, we, we thought oh, we'll, we'll be able to do this with you know, 600, 800. <laughs> 40 grit, yeah, and it ate the 40 grit sandpaper, wow. yeah, mental. So behind us we've got a beach buggy and similar paint job, but um, uh, tell us a bit about the setup on this as well, because this has got a turbo motor in it. Yeah, so the motor that's in this uh, is very new in this vehicle, this is out of a, a drag racing uh, Beetle, so it's a, a little bit aggressive, um, <laughs> we've had some issues with it, we did manage to drive it in here, Mitch the owner uh, has been fairly ginger on it at the moment, but uh, it is very aggressive. Both cars painted at the same time, um, and look, it's again this this car is fully road registered, um, and and yeah, look, it's a thing of beauty now. So, so obviously the deadbeats aren't too fussy with um, you know what kind of cars you got as long as it's cool and it's a bit crazy. You're kind of 60s inspired, I guess. Look, we do, we do have some rules. Yeah. We have actually a list of rules, uh, and uh, everyone must be in agreement. Yeah. You can't have anything too billet, and you know. Yeah. But it's it's uh, 64 and below, like most rod clubs. Yeah, so. yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, well, we'll this is yeah, because this is a 64 Taipan. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. So this is this car was originally built in Perth. Um, it's a Qdale built car, uh, way back in the day, God knows when. You know, it's had the the fenders have been widened over the time, and and there's a lot of modifications done to it over the years from previous owners. But I think this is by far the best build it's probably had. It's, it's a pretty amazing looking car and I reckon it's probably a good chance of doing wheel stands as well. Yeah, look, it should do wheel stands in the first three gears. That's what we <laughs> anticipate. That's what we want to see later, wheel stands in the, in the first three gears, yeah, and then just cruising in top. Yeah. But uh, no, awesome job, uh, fantastic to see uh, something a bit different. You know, Perth's, uh, the whole custom culture, you know, rockabilly scene, it's, it's, it's in, here in Perth, but it's not real big, so, you know, like uh, Dave Irish Jardine's uh, put this together to bring all these people together, so you enjoying it so far? Oh, yeah, look, I mean, early days, here and this morning but you know it's great to have everybody here and, and like you say bring that culture together and because mm. it is a very small tight-knit community yep, um, yep. and we all get on great and and hopefully get the idea of what we're about and what that custom culture is out to everybody else fantastic right thanks for your time mate Lovely. thanks mate